we know that verbs can be finite or non-finite and that non-finite verbs are of three kinds. The infinitive, the participle and the gerund. Today, we will be learning about a particular kind of the participle. Look at the setting sun. Let us identify the verbs in this sentence first. Look, setting. So here, look is the finite verb, whereas setting is the non-finite verb. Now this non-finite verb is the ing form of the verb set. And we see that in this sentence, it has been used as an adjective. It is describing the noun sun, the setting sun. Now when we have an ing form of the verb, which is a non-finite verb and has been used as an adjective, we call it the present participle. I saw him setting his laptop for the presentation. Let us identify the verbs in this sentence first. Saw, setting. Now in this sentence, saw is the finite verb, whereas setting is the non-finite verb. Now this non-finite verb is the ing form of a verb which represents a continuous action in this sentence. It is showing an action in progress. So in this sentence, it is acting as the present participle. But if we have a sentence like this, setting his laptop on the table, he began the presentation. What are the verbs in this sentence? Setting and began. Now in this sentence, Setting is the non-finite verb, whereas began is the finite verb. Now this non-finite verb, setting, in this particular sentence is the ing verb form which represents an action immediately before another action. So first he set his laptop on the table and then he began the presentation. So in this sentence, setting is showing an action immediately before another action and it is the ing form of the verb and it is here a non-finite verb. So in this sentence also, setting is the present participle. So what are present participles? Present participles are verb forms that end in ing. Now present participles either represent an action in progress or an action that takes place immediately before another action. Present participles can also be used as an adjective. While watching a movie, I fell asleep. Now what are the verbs in this sentence? Watching and fell. Where watching is the non-finite verb and fell is the finite verb. Now this non-finite verb is the ing form of a verb which shows an action in progress. Hence, watching is the present participle in this sentence. I love this dancing robot. Now in this sentence, what are the verbs? Love and dancing where love is the finite verb and dancing is the non-finite verb. It is the ing form of the verb which has been used as an adjective. It is describing the noun robot. Hence in this sentence, dancing is the present participle. Opening her purse, she took out the money. What are the verbs in this sentence? Opening and took. So in this sentence, opening is the non-finite verb. Whereas took is the finite verb. Now opening we know is the ing form of the verb open and here it represents an action immediately before another action. First she opened her purse, then she took out the money. So in this sentence opening has been used as a present participle. Now let us do this exercise. 
fill in the blank with the present participle form of the given verb. Sarah is very fond of her dash ball. The verb given to us is bounce. Now we know that the present participle form is the ing form of a verb. So what will it be here? The answer will be Sarah is very fond of her bouncing ball. Now let us read these three sentences. Mom is cooking. Mom was cooking. They were cooking. Now what are the verbs in the three sentences here? Is cooking. Was cooking. Were cooking. So all the three verbs in the sentences here are finite verbs. But if you look at these finite verbs carefully, you will see that in all the sentences, cooking does not change. It remains the same. What changes is the first part of the verb, which is is, was, were. So we see that is, was, were are the verbs which change with the subject and portray tense, but cooking does not change with the subject. And here we see that it is showing an action in progress. So we see that the finite verbs is cooking, was cooking and were cooking can be broken up into two parts. The finite verb part which consists of is, was or were and the non-finite part which is consisting of cooking because cooking does not change in any of the sentences here. And we know that cooking is the ing form of a verb and it is showing an action in progress here. So it is the present participle. Now let us read the three sentences here. He is running the marathon. Now this sentence portrays the present continuous tense and we have used the present participle running in this sentence. In the next sentence, he was running the marathon. The sentence portrays the past continuous tense and we have used the present participle running. In the third sentence, he will be running a marathon this Sunday. The sentence portrays a future continuous tense, but you can see that we have used the present participle running. So we can see that in all the three tenses, we have used the present participle running. Now let us look at these three sentences here. She has been reading the Harry Potter series. Now this sentence portrays the present perfect continuous tense, but we have used the present participle reading in this sentence. In the second sentence, she had been reading the whole morning. The sentence portrays the past perfect continuous tense where we have used the present participle reading. Similarly, in the third sentence, she will have been reading this book for two months tomorrow. We have used the present participle reading even though the sentence portrays the future perfect continuous tense. So we see that the present participles do not necessarily refer to present time. We saw earlier that the present participles show continuous tenses. We see here that the present participles are used to show the perfect continuous tenses. So don't get confused with the name present participle. They can show either the past or the present or the future time. So what did we learn today? Today we have learned about a special kind of participle known as the present participle. Now present participles are the ing form of verbs and they can represent any of the three things. What are they? They can be used as adjectives, they can be used to show an action in progress or they can be used to show an action which happened immediately before another action. Now, 
all you have to do is try to identify present participles in various exercises and you will soon master them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches, and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.